Hi, I'm Peter from Better Earthing. When you're traveling and you're not sure if the building is earthed, especially overseas, you can earth your products to the tap or a metal pipe underneath the tap, which you can usually get to under the basin. And we're going to show you how you can do that now. We're now going to confirm that the tap is earth, so I go to the auto range multimeter, I turn it onto that AC volt setting and ignore the reading for now. I then want to earth the multimeter. A multimeter always needs to be earthed or grounded to measure accurately. So we just the end of one lead, metal lead to the metal tap, I'm holding it down with some blue tack or you can use sticky tape, anything, just to ensure metal to metal contact. I hold the end of the other lead and that measures my volts, which is 3.3. .3. And when I earth myself, like an earthing product, I earth to the tap, it goes down to 0.2. And if I touch a bit more skin, it goes down more to under 0.1. So it's gone down 30 fold, confirming the tap is earthed. And we can earth our products to this tap. I've done the same thing with the earthing lead to earth it to the tap and I'm, this t time I'm holding it with some um, plain old clear sticky tape. I'm going to check my voltage reading and it's about 3 which is the same as before. I'm now going to touch the product and the volts go down to they're flicking around a bit, so that probably tells me I haven't got a proper connection. So I'm still going to hold my hand there. And then when I press the earthing lead down closer, the volts drop. So it's just an example of using sticky tape. Make sure that it's taped really well to the tap. I'm going to quickly wrap a bit more around. And you don't need to just hold it to the tap. It can be to the tap pipe underneath. So hopefully I've got a better connection now. I'm checking my volts, I touch the earthing product and it goes down perfectly. It's about tenfold. It's not as much as going down touching the tap directly. And the reason why is because this earthing lead has a safety resistor in it here. So that even if it had an electric storm and lightning hit the pipes outside and this became um, full of electricity from the lightning through this this resistor stops um, the electricity flowing through so it's a safety thing so it's a slightly weak earthing experience but it's totally safe